For years, I thought that The Rock in a superhero movie was a no-brainer situation. But now that it's finally happening, I can't say that I'm all that excited for it. Let's discuss. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel for more content, just like this. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I don't know how many of you realize this, but The Rock has been attached to play Black Adam since 2014. No shit. Which I remember thinking at the time of that announcement, how intriguing that concept is. The Rock is a villain, the arch nemesis of the real Captain Marvel. Yes, Captain Marvel, not Shazam. And you can imagine the superhero throwdowns that he would have. The movie sells itself. But in 2014, when I was thinking this, the superhero movie landscape was very different. The Rock's career was very different. Superhero movies have since become the bane of my existence as it stands now in 2022 because there's just too goddamn many of them and they all look and sound exactly the same. That's right, it stinks! And we could say the same thing about the characters that The Rock now typically plays. They all look and sound the same as well. This is why I didn't do a trailer reaction to Black Adam, because quite frankly, I had no reaction to it. To me, it looks like just another comic book movie, and I'm just not interested in that. Not to mention this movie is coming about eight years too late for me. And given the information that has come out recently about this project, it just keeps sounding worse and worse to me. This is rock! I can't get jiggy with this shit! So why the delay? Why did it take so long for Black Adam to appear on screen? Well, it appears that The Rock himself is the biggest reason why it took so long. And it sounds like it has a lot more to do with his ego than it does telling a proper story with this character. So apparently when the Shazam movie went into production in 2014, that movie was originally supposed to include the origins of both Shazam and Black Adam. You know, like almost every other comic book movie that's ever existed? The hero typically gets an origin, and the villain gets a slightly less in-depth version of his origin in the same movie. Not to mention these characters share a rich history together that dates back almost 80 years. It's been... 84 years. So I think it would make sense to approach the story in the way they were originally going to. But The Rock apparently had other plans. He spoke to Vanity Fair recently and he revealed what he told the studio. He said that, quote, we can't make this movie like this. We would be doing the Black Adam character an incredible disservice. It would have been fine for Shazam having two origin stories converge in one movie, but not good for Black Adam. That sounds a lot like The Rock not wanting to play second fiddle to the real star of this story. Wasn't it The Rock that had a clause in his contract that said he can't look too weak in any movie fight that he's ever in? He's kind of bringing the same energy here. Not to mention, I think The Rock is placing a bit too much stock in the character of Black Adam. You about to cross some fucking lines. Guys, since when is Black Adam the end-all be-all of comic book villains? And since when is he one of the only villains deserving of his own standalone movie? I never realized that this character carried that level of clout. Rob Liefeld, creator of Deadpool, said it best in a recent tweet. He said, quote, Been reading comics for 48 years. Black Adam had no significant presence or stature in DC's history prior to The Rock turning his gaze on him. Not a criticism. A simple fact. Couldn't have said it better myself, Rob, because I also deal in facts. I've been a DC fan, admittedly, my entire life. And not once have I ever thought of Black Adam as a significant character. And apparently neither did the director of Black Adam himself, who recently admitted that he had no knowledge of this character's existence prior to his involvement in this movie. Now this is not to say that Black Adam doesn't have his fans. I think we just need to be realistic about what type of character he actually is. That makes sense. One of my biggest issues with the comic book movie genre right now is that studios think that every single character is deserving of his or her own movie or series. And that's just not the case. If you don't believe me, look what happened to Batgirl. Some characters are supporting characters and nothing more. Some characters are just meant to be villains and nothing more. Now you can do a lot with a villain in a secondary role if you have the right people involved in your creative team. In fact, a secondary character or villain can oftentimes steal the show. That is, if it's done right, and if you don't believe me, look at Heath Ledger's Joker. Because it's all part of the plan. 
to suggest that Black Adam is worthy of his own movie, and to suggest that having him as a villain in a Shazam movie, which is what he was originally intended to be, is somehow a disservice to that character is a complete crock of shit to me. Nobody would have batted an eye if this character was the villain in that first Shazam movie. And I don't give a fuck if The Rock was playing him or not. I don't give a fuck. It's really starting to feel like most film companies who create comic book movies don't understand what a villain actually is. Most times, we don't need to know a lot about them. We don't need to sympathize with them. And we certainly don't need to root for them. Villains are designed to be foils, to create conflict for the hero to deal with. We need to stop trying to turn them into something that they are not. And for the love of God, stop giving them redemption stories. It's a stupid trend that needs to die a miserable fucking death. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? And apparently after the Rock lobby to have Black Adam removed from the Shazam movie, and the studio granted him that, he is also lobbying to have Black Adam be the big baddie in the upcoming DCEU reboot, comparing his impact to Thanos of all characters. I got news for you, most DC fans aren't gonna accept that as long as Darkseid exists. In fact, if WB uses any character except Darkseid in that role, then they are more clueless than I thought they were. I'm sorry, Rock, but I don't really care about Superman vs. Black Adam. What I really want to see is Superman vs. Darkseid. That's the money fight. We need to stop letting people who don't understand these characters make decisions about the future of these characters. Because clearly in The Rock's case, at least it feels like he has some ulterior motives. Here's a question. Has the Joker, appearing in any Batman story ever, ever been a disservice to his character? No, in fact, in most situations with good writers, it enhanced his character. And Joker, by the way, is a villain worthy of his own movie, which is why he got one. And we got a goddamn masterpiece of a film because of it. Get what you fucking deserve! The DCEU is in complete shambles right now, and I don't think there's any way around that. Aquaman is going to be a climate change activist, apparently. The Flash actor needs to be in jail. Black Adam isn't interesting enough to carry a movie or be the lead villain moving forward. Batgirl is cancelled, and oh by the way, Shazam 2 is on the way, and I could give two fucks about that movie either. Give me Superman, give me Batman, give me Wonder Woman. Hell, I would even take Green Lantern at this point. Make movies about characters that people actually give a shit about, and then maybe those audience test score numbers won't be so low. Y'all be cool. Shut up.